four factors must be weighed on a case-by-case -case basis to determine whether a particular use of a copyrighted work qualifies as a fair use under the law. In video two of this series, we discussed the first two factors, the purpose and character of the use, and the nature of the copyrighted work. Factor three considers the amount and substantiality of the use. This factor addresses how much of the protected work is being copied, both quantitatively and qualitatively, to achieve the intended purpose. Use of a whole work is rarely a fair use. By the same token, copying a small portion of a work is more likely to be a fair use unless that portion is considered to be the heart of the work. For example, one case determined that when a documentary filmmaker used clips of iconic Elvis Presley performances, this use failed under the third factor test because the filmmaker had copied the heart of the work. The fourth fair use factor considers the effect of the use on the actual and potential markets for the protected work. Primarily, if a new use is seen as a substitute for the original work, this will disfavor a finding of fair use under the fourth factor. Even if the new use is modest and not itself harmful to the market for the protected work, it may still not qualify as a fair use if a court finds that harm is likely to result from the use becoming more widespread. Also, the potential harm does not need to occur in a market that the copyright owner is currently exploiting. This factor considers any potential markets that might reasonably be available to the copyright owner, regardless of whether the copyright owner has chosen to enter that market. This analysis recognizes that copyright embodies a bundle of rights that are not protected on a use-it-or-lose-it -it basis. Finally, it's important to note that if potential market harm is caused by criticism, comment, or parody, these uses generally meet the overall intent of fair use and will not be viewed as harmful to the original work under the fourth factor. To learn more about fair use and copyright in general, visit copyrightalliance.org.